Greetings programs. What is cracking? We are living in 2024 and there are still people that believe that the earth is flat, but we're gonna be nice. We're not gonna be assholes. This is why flat earthers scare me. Let's have a look at what the hell is going on here. Let's go. I'm starting to get worried about flat earthers. I made a video about this a couple of years ago and I thought that it was a temporary curiosity, like some religious sects have a moment in the sun and then disappear. But the flat earther community seems to be growing. On the face of it, flat earth beliefs are completely bizarre. Most flat earthers think that the earth is a disk with a north pole in the middle and the south pole is a wall on the outside that keeps the water from escaping. They can't really agree on where the continents are or how many there are or whether the south pole maybe extends all the way to infinity so it's a flat earth multiverse theory basically <laughs> flat earth multiverse <laughs> just one second i believe that this is the thing flat earth support uh, supporters now plan an antarctic expedition to the edge of the world to prove that the south pole wall that they claim is real is a thing you know when logan paul's involved in anything we have to be kind here. As absurd as I think that this belief is, I mean, I'm still gonna respect their beliefs. Part of the reason people believe in this is just a lack of basic science education. Some of them think that if the Earth was a globe, then water just run off on the South Pole, pulled down by hmm i wonder what they also misunderstand how perspective works how trigonometry works how cameras work and on and on it goes but it's not just a matter of misunderstanding if you believe that the earth is flat you also have to believe in a global conspiracy that's hiding the truth for no particular reason for starters you must believe that most of physics is wrong and physicists are just making things up. We're all part of a big conspiracy. Geophysicists, they're also in on it. Astrophysicists, all liars. Everyone who's ever been involved in launching a rocket into space or putting a satellite into orbit is part of that conspiracy too. Moon landings didn't happen. The ISS, not in orbit. Every single photo that's ever been taken off Earth from space Fake sounds pretty crazy, doesn't it? But then lots of people also believe that an omniscient being keeps track of- Look, I am in visual effects and 3D animation. So, I, you know, I can create some insane stuff that looks super hyper realistic and you probably couldn't distinguish it from a real earth. But we, I mean, we're talking about, we're talking about the 1970s, 50s, bro, where they sent up satellite to images of the earth. Like, I, the technology back then wasn't good enough to fake that kind of stuff. So that all fake all of it all of it i mean sure some of it is definitely generated but all of it I, it's a stretch of who they have sex with a recent representative poll in north america found that five percent think the earth is flat and another six percent aren't quite sure i'm not quite sure how many people lie in these polls but there's no doubt that interest in flat earth i did birds aren't real is this a thing do people believe birds aren't real? What? No. The lunacy is getting more intense. How birds aren't real? <laughs> John Hopkins University. A satirical conspiracy group claiming the US government wiped out all birds and replaced them with lookalike drones for surveillance purposes. I mean, I wouldn't really trust Wikipedia, right? Because this is all public entries. So... <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Spiked in the past decade, as you can see in the Google search trends. In 2009, the International Flat Earth Society set up a website. In 2013, part of its members set up a wiki and discussion forum. Around 2015, the topic started to appear on YouTube and spread from here. In 2017, the first Flat Earth conference took place, which attracted a lot of media attention. YouTube made big changes to its recommendation algorithm and and interest tapered somewhat off after that but rather than just fading away in recent years interest in flat earth has been on the rise again it's probably to no small part because of tiktok which has now become a haven for flat earthers scientists don't take flat earthers seriously and i can see where they're coming from but i think it's a mistake to me flat earthers are the first <laughs> symptom of a much bigger problem they show us what happens when people realize they can't understand modern science 
don't trust scientists and therefore throw out even the most basic scientific knowledge on the rationale of skepticism. Flat earthers are somewhat extreme and that they're actually throwing out evidence that they could test them. I mean, it's, it's an interesting point because I think we all want to believe in something human beings we we like to believe in things right so I, I i don't think a group of people getting together and believing that the earth is flat is necessarily a bad thing i believe they're wrong but i'm not gonna hate them for believing in something that they want to believe in i think it's definitely a wrong theory because if you had a telescope and you looked up at the sky, you could very clearly see that the moon is round and so is Saturn and so is Jupiter and Venus and Mars and all the other planets in our solar system, including the sun. If the evidence is there for nine other planets in our solar system, uh, and, and the crazy thing is I hear so many, I hear so many, uh, and I've watched so many crazy theories about the pro flat earthers trying to explain why the earth is flat and their theory on gravity and their theory their theories on air pressure and how things can't be in geosynchronous orbit it's pretty wild you go so vehemently into a belief that you almost ignore all facts or are unwilling to look at the evidence nice they can't understand modern science don't trust scientists and therefore throw out even the most basic scientific knowledge on the rationale of skepticism. Flat earthers are somewhat extreme and that they're actually throwing out evidence that they could test themselves if they weren't so bad at science. But the underlying problem is much deeper <laughs> because in most of modern science, the average person can't test evidence for themselves. This is why I think it makes sense to identify the origin of this problem. And some scientists have actually studied this. They found that the scientific literacy of flat earthers tends to be well below population average. And at the same time, they're much more confident of their scientific knowledge than the average person. On flirthers. top of this, we then <laughs> they call them flirthers. Flirthers? The average yeah. person. On top of this, we then get echo chambers in social media that reinforce their misjudgment. The trouble is that these two issues, lack of knowledge and an inability to recognize this lack of knowledge. That is very true. There's some wild stuff on TikTok that people are just believing wholeheartedly. Like wild, wild things that people are saying and claiming to be facts. Fake doctors, fake scientists, fake mental well-being professionals, fake psychologists, fake so many people that are just saying very, very, very wrong things and giving out very bad information to a lot of people who tend to believe it. It's quite frightening are bound to become increasingly widespread simply because, unfortunately, scientific knowledge isn't heritable. We're born without knowing anything of modern science. We have to learn everything. And the more sophisticated science becomes, the more learning that requires. Sometime in the middle of the 20th century or so, we reached a point where modern science just stopped being comprehensible to anyone without a special degree. And this is still the case. I don't really understand how CRISPR works. I've no idea what Teichmüller theory is. I don't know how phones work and I yet have to figure out how to properly fertilize our lawn. There's just <laughs> too much knowledge in the world to learn at all. And unfortunately, no one has yet developed a pill for quantum mechanics. But you don't actually need to learn any physics Absolutely. to see that the Earth isn't flat. Even leaving aside that it requires you to believe in this huge conspiracy flat earth ideas have a much bigger problem is that you can't do anything with them. You can't use them to do as much as predict sunset and sunrise, let alone tides or solar eclipses or the paths of planets. You can't calculate airplane routes or understand satellite navigation. Even if you know nothing about how scientists do calculate these things, it isn't hard to convince yourself that someone somehow did manage to actually calculate when the sun arise and when solar eclipses arise occur and those were not the people who believe that the earth is flat why do flat earthers not i'll tell you i'll tell you one thing right now is that if there's one thing i do know is that 
I know very little indeed. But I have a curious mind and I will do my best to, to try and understand the world of physics, science, engineering, because I'm fascinated by it. I don't have that kind of a mind, although I do use really advanced 3D animation programs, but I'm fascinated by it. So, you know, I will do everything I can to try and figure out and question and ponder the, the, the inner workings and secrets of the universe. And I will listen to educated, smart, peer-reviewed people who know what they're talking about. That's what everyone should be doing realize this. I suspect what's going on is that they don't have the faintest clue how modern science works. They might actually believe that drawing a rotating blob on a disk in Blender is the state of the art in physics. So what are we to do? There'll she always be people... She may find a Blender. That's not cool. I, I do not approve of that. Blender's awesome who distrust scientists, and that might not even be a bad thing. But I think it's a mistake to ignore flat earthers. And I do have some sympathy for them, I really do. They're trying to figure out how nature works, and that's a good thing. We should just encourage them to get better at it. And then maybe one day they'll figure out that it's actually much easier to explain their observations if they stop believing that the Earth is flat. Another reason I think we should take Flat Earther seriously is that a lack of science education is more of a societal failure than a personal one. Luckily, there's an easy way to grow your scientific background knowledge, which is on Brilliant.org. I really like Brilliant's courses because they get to the point very quickly and help me to remember the key facts. All of Brilliant's courses come with interactive visualizations and follow-up questions. This gives you a feeling for what's going on, and it also lets you check whether you understood it right away. I even have my own course on Brilliant. It's a beginner's course for quantum physics. It explains what the wave function is and what superpositions and entanglement are. It also covers the uncertainty principle and Bell's theorem. And afterwards, you can continue learning more about your favorite topics in science computer science or maths. Whether that's special relativity or quantum computing, Brilliant has you covered. If you use our link brilliant.org slash Sabine, awesome. you'll get to try out everything on Brilliant for 30 days for free and you'll get 20% off the annual premium subscription. So go and check this out. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Um, this is from uh, Sabine Hoffen. Hossenfelder, Hossenfelder, Sabine Hossenfelder, awesome um, science channel, very cool, I've watched a bunch of her stuff, um, she breaks it down in very simple terms, I, I, I hope that the science, the flat earth people are okay, maybe they will wake up one day and, and realize that perhaps their pursuit is in vain and they are, are maybe wasting their time a little, uh, without sounding too mean, the universe is a, an awe inspiring place. I am completely in awe of, of everything around us. When you just stop and look and think about how things are and what things are and why things are the way they are, it's magical. It's absolutely incomprehensible to think about some of the things in the universe. Um, not even that, just our own body and stuff uh, and how the body works and how nature works with, with, in tune with the earth. and. It's just, uh, it's just such a crazy thing to think about. So I, I, I implore anyone who does come across this video to, to, uh, to question stuff, to, to go and find out information for yourself, because you know what, you might actually get bitten by the bug of knowledge and wanting to learn more and wanting to find out more. I am no scientist, but, uh, I love it. It's, it's truly a magnificent thing that we are alive and get to experience this world from our own perspectives and our own bodies and you know question the nature of the universe even if you're not a, a peer-reviewed scientist you know what i mean it's um it's a really cool thing that we have the ability to do this especially in this day and age with technology at our fingertips so pursue the right things think about the right things and if you don't believe something or if you have doubts or if you have that spotty sense tingling check it out question it critical think about something that's 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 your God-given right as a human being, right?